a retired New York City firefighter. He just got back from LA. Let's give a loud applause for Joe Gillian. to the day I met her. This was her fourth marriage. This was my first marriage. And I do not understand why all these Muslims want virgins. <laughs> <laughs> my wife used to do me up like a crack hood, two dollars short of a rock. <laughs> and I'd say, baby, where did you learn that? She'd be like, well, uh, well husband number three. <laughs> two, uh, two, TMO, TMO. two of her ex-husbands are dead. <laughs> One moved back to Italy. I, I, I can't make this up. This is true. Life. And it's me. And I'm the 16 year champ. Why? I'm rich. <laughs> when I got married, I was 42 years old. People said, hey, she's not marrying you, she's marrying your wallet. And I said, I hope she marries something beyond me. <laughs> and she did. She, yeah. When she said, when they said, do you take this man? She said, for every nickel he's <laughs> You stay married today because if you don't, you wish you were married again for any reason because it's all gone. Yeah. There was a man called Sam, Sam Keniston said she took it all. They're not kidding. But like I say, my wife, occasionally when she gets mad at me, she calls me the king bee. You know what happens to the king bee after he does the queen bee? Then <laughs> she gets me. the king bee. Oh, my wife's Russian, by the way. She's, uh, uh, well, like I said, she was the Sweden by Red Beach, but she was also the, uh, the blonde haired blue white Jewish woman <laughs> who decided to take an Irish Catholic to places he'd never been before. <laughs> my marriage. I like the shirt. I like the shirt. I got this out in LA when I was out there. Uh, this was from Charles Sheen's house. He's having a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're so mad at him, they're killing him. That's mad at somebody. Uh, they're writing off the show by killing him. His house was for sale. I was in L.A. The woman I stay with when I'm out in L.A., Jackie, uh, she scored, so I became homeless in L.A. at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what are you bringing something? To out I go. So I got into the car and I said, well, I, I gotta wait until about eight o'clock flight. So I drove up into the hills and that's where I saw Charles Sheen's uh, stuff. And uh, you know, I looked at it and I said, wow, there's a man who became a shooting star. <laughs> Another thing about marriage, Hefner. Anybody remember who you Hefner is? I remember who that. But he almost got married to a woman named Crystal. And he's so old, that woman must have been doing crystal meth, or heroin, or alcohol, or something that said, I will screw you, you 85 year old man. But the day she didn't was the day they broke up. She came back to the house, she came back to the house with the rock, she came back to the house with the Bentley, he answered the door, and she said, I want to get this back to you, half. And you know what he said? Good, who are you? <laughs> He's heartbroken. How long is that going to last? You're 85 years old. How long is that broken heart going to last? Just so long. 
and they replaced all the heckling from the post. They didn't print it, it was crystal balls. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, finally to gay marriage. Some people just haven't suffered enough, but I hope you'll enjoy joining us now. Because you've now brought lawyers into your lives. I was against gay marriage for many years because I didn't want to get married. Now that I'm married, I said, why should you guys get over? Welcome. Come on in. Have a stool. Have a seat. Join us. Enjoy your evening because it's short and sweet here for me. I have one quick, quick story. When I was a fireman, we went to a fire, and a woman was screaming at the doorway. She said, my cat, my cat. And I said, OK, we'll go get the cat. We drag her out, get her out of the hallway. We go in, we're looking for the cat. We're looking everywhere. It's getting nasty. I finally said to my lieutenant, I'm getting out. Look, I'm sorry about the cat. We got out, we pulled the door, and we're waiting for water. And the water came. And the lady was screaming, she's still going, did you get the cat? Did you get the cat? I said, no, I'm sorry, we'll look for him after. And she said, oh, okay, what about my husband? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we put out the fire, and now we're looking for a body. And finally, I was very upset as I'm going to the street. I, I can't do this, I'm going to feel so bad. And I see a man standing in the street, he's talking to a cop. He's a little sooty. They stand there, very old man, like the woman was very old. No, 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 it's not possible. And he turned, and there's that cat in this guy's hand. And I said, are you from this fire apartment? And he said, yeah, yeah, I, got, I grabbed the cat and got out right away. I was like, what? This was the married couple. They have ready, oh, you nice. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed me half as much as I enjoyed you. Thank you so much.